know that you're a phoenix, so rise up from all those ashes today. Yeah, you were scarred, but you were sorry. You can call to the grave. I know you know that a lion's inside, sleeping in your heart. Step back and remember who you what up, Pride? It's your boy Mari back again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into a new single by June Cook. I am super excited. I really enjoyed all of the stuff he released off of his last solo project. And I also really like his parts in BTS songs. So I'm excited for what he has for us today. If you're new here, definitely make sure to subscribe not to miss any more content like this. I'll be reacting to more BTS content in the future. So definitely don't want to miss out on that. So hit that subscribe button. And I'll be seeing all of you guys on the other side. Out of town, we never out of money. Oh, every day I wonder if this all is just a dream Everything falls into place cause you're right here with me Without your love I'm nothing, you mean more than you know And words just get me whenever you close I try to put it into words but it don't matter I, My pen and paper can never do quite enough It's the truth, it's the truth We got something Okay, so I don't recognize the producer tag that was in the beginning, but whoever, I think they said Starboy, whoever that is, I, I like this beat so far, I'm not gonna lie. Very uh, upbeat, dancey, um, the percussion there is like super interesting. At one point, it kind of sounded like there was like a triangle in the background, which is like crazy, but um, this kind of reminds me of some of the stuff that was on his solo project in that it's um, kind of like, pop fused with a another genre uh and being very like fun while also not necessarily being like crazy high tempo you know but it's like uh get your head bopping you know it gets it get your head bopping i really thought the intro was really cool uh, with like the it, it sounded like a ukulele to me I don't know if it was actually a ukulele it could have been an acoustic guitar with an effect on it but it sounded like a ukulele um, and a pad which was like that backing ambient sound and then some type of like vocal ran through a ton of processing to create like that like you know distant atmospheric um, vocal thing that you heard right before the producer tag came in um, I just really like I, I thought it was really cool and then going into the bright section after that was like a nice change of pace from that intro which was like more dark and and cool if that makes sense so um yeah we're gonna get back into it but so far I'm liking this <laughs> Okay, so that's that's interesting. First off, in the beat itself, over the the course of the uh, verse, but also especially there in like the pre-chorus slash chorus. I don't know when it changes from the pre-chorus into the chorus. Maybe like all the parts where you're saying never let go, 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 go. You know that part. Just that part is the chorus, and so before that was the pre-chorus. After the uh, synth riser build into the drop. Um, so let's say after that pre-chorus and then chorus, right? There's like a bunch of like insane synth stuff happening in the background that's um i don't i'm not sure if it's arpeggiated or if that was like actually played or drawn in or whatever the case may be but um just like a lot of like little notes firing off in the background which is like really interesting as far as the the chorus itself the never let go 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 that sounds like they took jk like one instance of jk singing it and then like chopped it up and you know played it across the synth um instead of him singing never let go, go 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 like does that make sense like if it's 
it's choppy enough that it feels like it wasn't him just singing never let go 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 but like a you hear this a lot in like EDM songs where like the DJ producer will take the vocals from the artist themselves chop it up and then like create top line sections of the vocalist from those chopped up sound bites and so um that's that's what it sounded like to me I don't know it was like it was like rhythmic and choppy in a way that felt like that not like him singing it himself um so yeah i don't know it's interesting i i hope we get ad libs on this song i i hope that this is not like i feel like the singles on his solo project we got a lot of ad libs and they were great and then on some of the b-sides which ironically ended up being my favorite songs but on a lot of the b-sides we didn't get um additional ad libs on it and i feel like that with just how repetitive the never let go, 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 go thing is. With that being said, it is repetitive, but it's not like, it's not the exact same like pattern of never let goes the entire time. So there is like a little bit of variance there, but with how repetitive that is, I feel like there is definitely a lot of space for him to like do like vocal runs and ad libs and things um, over top of that. So I hope we get that as the song continues on uh, moving forward. But anyway, we're gonna continue. I just wanted to give my thoughts on that because that's a that's a like, really interesting it's a really interesting thing there, just like the way in which they went about like vocally producing this song. Every time you're the one I'm with, with me from the start, always the best part of my day. Being who you are, being who you are, in the dark you A couple things. One, the sections, the ad lib sections that he did there, the parts that were in the parentheses, it was like with you, leave you, for you, like those sections. Um, those were great, great harmonies, great little vibrato on the notes. It's just, ah, ah, that, that was really good. Um, as far as this version of the pre-chorus into the chorus, it did break down, but it, it there wasn't the same build as I remember in the last section. So it, it transitioned a little more naturally into the pre-chorus, um, but the uh we got like a little bit a little bit the song isn't over yet but we got a little bit of like little ad libs over jk's never let go section there in the back and it sounded great and i don't know if he's going to continue to do it going forward and if not that would be a shame but we we got a little bit so hopefully you guys got to see what i was saying in the last pause where like with him being so never let go go, go like it's it's so rhythmic that there's a lot of room for him to do melodic things around it. And so um, it was it was quick. It was like way in the background. But hopefully you got to see in that particular section, if not continuing forward in the song, um, what I was trying to, to communicate in the last pause. Body,
All right, so that's Never Let Go. I, I liked it. It was enjoyable. Nice little summer bop. Um, I can see that doing really, really well at festivals. Whoever the um, the DJ producer was who made this, and I'm assuming it's a DJ producer because this, the, the production style of this and the way that they like chopped up his vocals and used his vocals, it's just it's giving very much EDM DJ producer, like a, a Calvin Harris or something like that, a Tiesto, you know, those kind of vibes. So I can see this doing really good at like summer festivals with like people in fishnets shuffling and stuff in the crowd. You get what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't like this as much as like say like a standing next to you because that song's incredible. But this is really good. Definitely a different vibe than a lot of the stuff that was on his solo project. Again, showing off the versatility, uh, which we already knew from the BTS discography. But if you didn't know, my boy can do a lot of different vibes. And so I love them doing that with this, just giving us a different flavor to it. But let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I don't know if we're gonna get a music video for this. I just, I just got this recommended to me. So I don't know what additional uh, stuff is coming out with this song, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. If you have any other recommendations, put that in the comment section down below as well. And while you're down there, definitely make sure to subscribe not to miss any more content like this. And I'll see all of you guys here on the channel next time. Have a great day. Peace. Sit back, don't stress, don't stress. Life is too short for you to drive.